guys, today we're going to be doing a full gaming PC build guide. This is my brother's PC, and we're going to go over all the parts and show you how to build it to make a gaming PC. So here's the parts list. This PC is a high-end gaming PC with around $1,100 budget. So let's get started with the first part. Our CPU, this is a Ryzen 7 3700X. It's 8 cores and 16 threads. So it's really good for creative work like video editing, but it's a great gaming CPU as well. It also includes this Breathe Prism RGB uh, CPU cooler, which in my opinion is the best stock cooler. So overall this is a great bang for the buck. It was uh, around $280. This is the motherboard, the ASUS B450F. You can't, this is not original packaging because it was open box. It's not refurbished, but just open box. So here's a picture of what it actually looks like. It's ATX motherboard. It's, um, it's AM4, B450, so it's compatible with everything. If it looks pretty nice, it's got a lot of RGB, so it's just a solid choice. It was around uh, $110. Next up is the RAM. This is Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. It's 16 gigabytes and 2x8 at a 3200 MHz speed and a CL16 cast latency. This, I think, is the best looking RAM on the market. It's pretty well priced. It was around like $70 or $80, and it's all the features that you need for RAM. This is the storage, and I went for an M.2 NVMe um, storage because fastest and they're a lot easier to install than SATA SSDs. This is a WD Black SN750 with um, a 3,400 3, megabytes read speed. So I have a WD Blue in my build, and I love these SSDs. It's 500 gigabytes, which sounds small, but if you're only doing a few games, it should be fine. We have an external drive you can use. So this is a great storage device. So the graphics card that I said earlier, we don't have right now. It's either an Asus Strix 2060, the Aorus 2060 Super, or a 3060 Ti, but we don't have the stock for any of those. Here is the power supply. It's a Corsair CX650F RGB. It's 650 watts. It's fully modular, so it's pretty easy to build with. It's RGB and um, 80 plus bronze. It's pretty solid power supply, and I guess it looks pretty nice. And if you notice all these parts, um, they're all Corsair compatible, IQ, so this motherboard is Corsair RAM, Corsair power supply, and the last things are Corsair case. It's not here right now, but it's a 465X. Here's a picture of it. It's got three LL fans, which are, in my opinion, the best fans, RGB fans, and it syncs with all the Corsair stuff. It's got uh, enough ventilation, AIO capacity, and it's a pretty easy case to work with. So now that we've gone over all the parts, let's get started and build it. All right guys, we're gonna start building. This is my brother, and we're gonna start building his PC right now. So, let's get started. So here are all the parts that we're gonna be using, and we're gonna start building the PC now. So we're gonna get started. Uh, really the only things you need are, make sure to be grounded, um, have a screwdriver set, I have this one, it's magnetic, and it fits everything I need, and now we can get started. So, first I'm gonna go with the motherboard, let's unbox it. Okay, so let's get a good look at it. You can see there's the CPU socket, VRMs, the DIMM slots, PCIe slots, nice IO shield, not RGB by the way. So let's get started by doing the motherboard stuff. So you can put the CPU in, you can put the RAM in, and the storage, okay? So, so we're gonna unbox the CPU next. It is right here, Ryzen 7 3700X. And as you can see here, it comes included with the Wraith Stealth Cooler, probably the best uh, stock cooler okay so let's open this up there's the cooler so this the whole box really is just a cooler see it's pretty big and here is what we want this tiny little square look at that Ryzen 7 3700X so to install a CPU this is probably the most dangerous part because you could easily damage it so the first thing you want to do is see this retention arm I'm gonna pull it up and to the side okay you're going to open the box, take your CPU out, and now put your CPU And So first, there should be a little gold triangle right there. You want to match it up with the triangle on the motherboard, okay? So my brother's going to put in the CPU now. Okay, and the CPU should be flush inside of this. Uh, let me have to rotate it. 
tighten it a little bit. There, see what's flush, no pins are sticking out. It should go in easily. And you lower the retention arm. And that's it, the CPU is in. So basically your second most important part is right there. It's all in. Next is the uh, CPU cooler. This requires a little bit more effort. And it's a really nice looking cooler, look at that. Got RGB fan, little ring. Now the, oh this is, whoa, this is way bigger than I thought. Okay, so the good thing about this is that it already comes with thermal paste uh, pre-applied, so you don't have to keep uh, putting that on. So we have the, see the heat sink, heat pipes, this is the fan connector, and this is an RGB cable, so let's get this installed. And this is the thermal paste, this will go on the CPU. Now we're going to install the cooler, and this uses the AMD brackets already, but these little hooks go on. So, hold it up by this. And now, this is the fan power cable. This goes into your CPU fan header. And these are RGB connectors. Okay, so now the CPU and CPU fan are we can do RAM. Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. It's pretty easy to install. And uh, since we're using AMD, um, dual channel and high RAM speed definitely helps a lot. And obviously we're gonna use dual channel. A really big uh, mistake people do is they don't put it into slots two and four. So I'm running dual channel. So here's the RAM stick. Okay, there's a little notch right here. This lines up with the notch on here. So see, this is two. So you find the notch. In slot two, Let's slot this in, it clicks in like that, okay? So my brother's going to do the next piece of RAM, so we want a dual channel, so that means slots two and four. So this is already open, you line up this notch, and he's going to put it in, it's already open, so you just line up the notch, you're perfect, and then slot four, no, that's in three. This just needs to click in, like that. Now you have two sticks of RAM in. Okay, next is the storage, NVMe M.2. So our motherboard does have an M.2 slot here and here. And these are actually a lot easier to install than SATA SSDs. So pull it out like this. And does our motherboard have the standoff included? The, uh, I don't think it does, let me see. Here's the SSD itself, pretty slim, and it slots into here. I mean, just screw for that, it's a really small screw. Shape. So, we're gonna finish off the M.2 by slotting it in and nailing this down. It's really good to have a magnetic screwdriver. Okay, now we've done the motherboard stuff. We have the CPU, CPU cooler, RAM, storage, that'll be put down. You can put this directly into the case now. So let's get started with that. Okay, so now we're gonna put this motherboard into the case now. So these screws are in the case box. Let's remove all these cables. Front panels are always the worst to do. Let's move these out of the way. Bring this motherboard. All the work we've done. Let's put it into here now. And this has the standoffs pre-installed, I think. Yeah, it does, okay. So, this in, ATX, so it fits totally fine, let's swing these out of the way, there we go, now it's kind of taking shape, you know, okay, and put these screws into the standoffs to secure into the case, it's pretty easy, I'm trying to speed this up. So the screws are here, 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 and there. So um, I've just secured the motherboard in. So the CPU and CPU cooler are on. Motherboard is put into here, RAM. It's good storage. Secure that down. Next, power supply is going to go in right here. And then do all this front uh, case uh, cable management. So let's get started with the power supply. It's 650 watts and it's RGB. So I'm going to get this opened and then um, we'll install it. So. Here's our power supply. It is modular and we're going to use it as intake. So here's an RGB fan right here and the cables to go to the outside are right here. So it'll be like this inside of our case. The fans down, output, and then our modular cables. So these are the modular cables we have. We have one for CPU that goes here, the 24 pin motherboard that goes here, 
and the PCIe one for the graphics card. We don't have one yet, but I'm just gonna get it ready cable managed. So I'm gonna screw that in and we'll see what it looks after. So the power supply should be put in like this with the cables going into the inside and the fan is on the bottom. And there's a dust filter to cover it. Okay, so here's the 5600 XT. We've been waiting on this graphics card for a long time, so finally you can build it. So it's an Asus uh, Strix, which are basically the best graphics cards. They're overclocked. They have a triple fan design, which is cool. Let's just open this. And so the PC has been built for a long time, but it didn't have a video output. So now you can finally boot in. And you actually need uh, an 8-pin and a 6-pin power supply connector, so it's good that I got the cable management done in the first place. So, let's see what's inside of here. Some documentation. And there's the card itself. So, we're going to unbox this. I'm going to put it into the PC, and then we could boot it. This is massive. This is way bigger than I thought. Ho oh, ho, this is a beast, look at this. So, we're gonna put this into the PC and then let's check it out later. So we bought the PC back, it's completely built except for the graphics press not put in. So to put that in and it should work after. So now we're gonna install our graphics card in the first PCIe slot like this. So first you have to take off the brackets, which for most uh, GPUs includes two and three. So you wanna unscrew these. And keep the screw, because the screw um, keeps it, uh, like, puts it in, but the bracket you don't need. So there's one, and two. So some big GPUs, like the 3090, is like a four slot cooler. It's massive, right? So you just need to take up two. Keep the screws and take off the brackets. And now we're ready to install the GPU. So one thing that, on well, my first build I messed up on was I forgot to take this off. It was just jamming it in. So this is the most... Don't want that to break. And you just slot it in. Make sure there's no cables in the way. I'm gonna pick up this 3.0 cable temporarily. Yeah, it should be slot in the place. You wanna use the first slot, so I use the most bandwidth. Oh, this cable's kind of in the way. Let's take this out temporarily. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Because the GPU is the to line up the golden lines with the bracket. There we go. It should click in. Okay, that's good. And then using the screws that were in the brackets, put them over here. There's one. Okay, there's one. Yeah, this is a pretty big graphics card. It's a three fan one, but it still fits, you know, totally fine. Stuff like 3090s are a lot thicker in like both dimensions, but surprisingly there's no uh, four fan coolers that I've seen at least, at least I haven't seen them. So just fashion this in. That yeah, feels solid. And um, this card doesn't need a sag bracket, some heavier cards do. But the two screws right here and the PCIe uh, port should be more than enough. So I'm just secure this down. So the graphics card is in place. And then for your power supply cables, mine should be a six pin, but there's two types. So this is an eight pin. See this eight total. And you can take it off for a six pin. And as you can see here, this is an eight pin. And that's a six pin. So we're going to use both. And you can kind of daisy chain them together. So you have your eight pin in this one. And it's very similar to the motherboard. The tab goes on the top. There we go. That's satisfying. And a six pin, you just kind of don't use this part. Kind of rip it apart. Goes into here. And I would recommend uh, power supply sleeves, uh, cable extensions like I have. They just really clean up the build. But yeah, this is totally good. They can put this 3.0 cable back in. So look, you're wired into the PCIe bracket, your screws are in, 
power supply is in and we're pretty much done. We're gonna boot this PC up now and so I'll show you how that looks. So I put the power supply in right there. There's the uh, 8 pin CPU, 24 pin motherboard and then the 8 pin PCIe for the graphics card but we don't have it yet. So power supply is wired in, did the front panel ports, like the USB power and that stuff and now we're ready to boot it up, okay? Whoa. So we're going to go into the BIOS to boot up into Windows and then we can use it normally. But that looks amazing. Let's turn off the lights. LL fans, Corsair RAM, RGB cool, RGB motherboard. They have the power supply right there, down there is uh, RGB, see? So it'll be a little temporary setup on my desk, a recording studio. So everything's wired in. We've got um, GPUs in with the two power supply connectors, keyboard and mouse is wired up, and monitor. So we're gonna turn the computer on, but before you turn the computer on, always remember to put the power supply on. I always forget that, and I think it's broken. So it's right behind here. Okay, so like some stuff will be powered on, like the RGB. We're gonna plug this in. And the RGB, I mean the HDMI is plugged into the monitor, so it should just boot up now. So first try, we've actually booted into Windows, it is the home screen. This is because before the graphics card was installed, I put my graphics card in temporarily, booted into Windows and downloaded it. So now we're fully operational, all the fans are running, GPU has power, and uh, we can get started. So here's the finished PC. You can see just all the RGB and we're gonna do the satisfying peel right now, okay? So I'm gonna let my brother do it. This is my brother's completed build, the Ryzen 7 5600XT. As you can see, there's a lot of this uh, RGB LL120 fans, the GPU's RGB, two RAM sticks and CPU, and this little setup is a keyboard, mouse, monitor. Stuff will get updated over time, but overall this PC looks great, and he's proud of it, I'm proud of it, and um, he'll get a good experience out of it.